This is an explanation on the integrations section of the Pixel Perfect app, and this video relates to a particular app called One Click Upsell, which is uh, built by Ezra Firestone <clears throat> and is quite popular amongst marketers. So, in our Pixel Perfect settings, we have a setting for integrations. And you can click on the integration and select the, the one you have, in this case, one click upsell, and enable that. <clears throat> and now your Pixel Perfect app will work with one click upsell. Uh, one click upsell is basically a replacement checkout for Shopify. And because of that, it will interrupt the checkout flow. So you will not go to the normal checkout that you will with your Shopify store. But instead, you'll be taken to the one-click upsell checkout. So there's a few things that are affected by this integration. Uh, the first one is if you look in the Pixel Perfect event logs for your store, you will not see any purchase events. And the reason for this is because Pixel Perfect app tracks these events from the Shopify checkout. And with the one-click upsell integration, you are not going to the Shopify checkout. You are going to the one-click upsell checkout. So these events will not be tracked in the Pixel Perfect log. In addition to that, your numbers will look quite different within Facebook because the one-click upsell app is handling the Pixel event for checkout and typically may fire anything between one and four purchase events. Uh, so there's some upsell events, there's the normal purchase event, there's different events. Uh, and if you contact one, one click upsell support, they will explain to you what those events are. And they will explain to you what those numbers are. But typically the numbers will be different than if you do not use the one click upsell app in the Facebook Business Manager dashboard. Um, also... The Pixel Perfect app supports niche tagging. Uh, now, if you have in your Pixel settings uh, enable niche custom event pixel niche product feed, that setting is enabled, you will still see the niche tags in the purchase event passed over. So you will still be able to go and uh, make custom conversions by niche, but though that information is passed from the one-click upsell purchase pixel data as opposed to the normal Shopify checkout purchase pixel data. So there's a few differences in, in how it operates. If you have any questions about the numbers or about the purchase events or um, how things are adding up or, or those sort of things, the best place to start with those questions is to contact One Click Upsell and they will be able to explain to you what it is that they do, what you're supposed to see and be able to help you troubleshoot those events.